If you're new here, my name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the Lux Look for Less. Now today, we're not just doing the Lux Look for Less, you guys, we are doing the Lux Look for free. I'm so excited, you guys are gonna yell at me for breaking your bank account because we're doing things for free today. I'm giving you 10 ways on how to make your home look luxurious for zero dollars. Before we get into today's video, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Now let's save some money. Now, before we get into this video, I wanna give a little bit of a disclaimer. Your home should reflect you. If you wanna paint your walls rainbow, I am not gonna stop you. I want you to be happy in your home, but sometimes we want our home to look a little bit more high-end. It's the human experience. We care about what other people think. If that wasn't true, I don't, I don't know that we would have the makeup and the fashion and the beauty and all that good stuff. So that being said, let's get into the video and let's be a little bit human together. Now, coming in at number one, I know you might even think I'm even joking, but take the plastic off of your furniture. I know sometimes we're like, oh, I spend so much money on this. I don't want to get it dirty. Well, it's not looking good with the plastic on it. We've all been there. I do that all the time. I'll leave the tags and the wrapping on something, but it just has to go. We want to let those decorative items, that furniture shine. And the only way to do that is to get rid of that horrible plastic. Like I know your grandma does this. My grandma used to do it, but it's over. We're not doing that. You purchase just the furniture for a reason and it, the furniture itself is going to add so much color and texture and dimension and just like you to the space so let's not hide it take the plastic off take the tags off and let that furniture shine the second way to make your home look luxurious for free is to DIY some art. I know you're like, ugh, that's so hard. How do I know if it's gonna look good? Well, the easiest way to do that is to make some modern or abstract art because there can be a lot going on. There isn't always a rhyme or reason. And so you kind of can just like let loose and kind of see what happens and just let it go from there. And now this isn't artwork that you need to do by yourself. If you don't feel like you're creative, let your kid do it, let your dog do it. You have no idea. Maybe they are the next Picasso, right? Let them DIY that art and you're just going to take it and put it up on the wall. You can use an old frame you have sitting around or an old canvas, just paint over it and there you go. You could do your art with pencils, crayons, whatever you have around the house. And what I like to do is actually use old paint that I use for like a kitchen paint job or a bathroom paint job. So that's a great way to get some customized art. No one's going to have it because you made it. Now you've seen art in every single luxury home and the hotels, art just brings some character and you can say, oh, I commissioned this. Now you commissioned it from your three-year-old, but no one has to know that. And this is not really about, you know, lying to people about what looks good. I'm just saying, if we want our house to look good, we're looking to the wealthy people, the museums, the AD for inspiration, and this is what we do. So that's why we're gonna do it. Now, the next way to make your home feel and look luxurious for absolutely no money is to to make your own potpourri. There's nothing better than walking into a hotel or really anywhere and smelling how good it smells. Good scents make things feel luxe, looks, feel sexy. It doesn't matter, right? That's why Axe exists. I don't know. Whatever, that's why Axe exists, that's why Old Spice exists. We care about those things. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use some pantry items. You're gonna get your cinnamon, your cloves, your vanilla, all that. You're gonna put it in a pot on your stove and you're gonna boil it. Your house is going to smell divine. It's gonna smell like Thanksgiving all the time. And it's gonna have like kind of like those nutty, like masculine O's from the clove. Oh, it's gonna smell so good. You're gonna wanna like eat the air. It's gonna be amazing. So you're gonna have your house smelling really luxurious and that just like welcomes people in. It makes you feel homey, it makes you feel safe. And this is an entirely free way to do it. A good smelling area really sets the tone. You've never walked into a house that smells like garbage and you're like, ah, oh, this is luxury. You want the really wonderful, like flavorful scents in your home. It just feels phenomenal. The next way to make your home feel luxe for free is to make use of websites where you can get free stuff. Craigslist, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, all of those places you can get furniture for free because there are tons of people like me who went to Goodwill, bought too many things that they didn't need and you're like, wow, I have nowhere to put this. So you just need it out of your home. And that's a good way to get really high end furniture for free or things that you can upholster using linens that you already have in the house. This is a great way to get really massive canvases. They may be ugly, but you can paint over them, like I said, with that um, paint that you have left over from another paint job. Free things are good things because you can always ups upsell 
upcycle them. Just disinfect them when you get them home and you're gonna have something amazing. And if not, you can take those things, upcycle them and then resell them and then use that money to you know, buy things that are gonna make your house feel a little bit more luxurious. Again, you can also go dumpster diving. That is my grandmother's thing. She called me the other day. She said, Kiva, we should start a show. We should call it dumpster diving deals. And I said, grandma, I don't think that one's gonna take off, but I like your thinking. The next way to make your house feel luxurious for free is to add some fresh florals. If you have a backyard or something like that, go get some of those flowers and bring them inside. A nice centerpiece just brings some life to a house. Think about my home. It's really monochromatic. So if I put some really nice greenery, some nice flowers, it softens it up. It brings a little bit more life into the space because life is beautiful and life is luxurious. So that's what we want to do. Think about hotels and really luxurious places that you've been. They always have the fresh florals because they just look nice. There are tons of videos for free on YouTube about it. So use those as a resource. Now, if you, you know, don't have fresh flowers, you can get sticks and bring them inside. Think about Athena Calderon and all those people who are kind of doing like neutral home decor right now. They're bringing sticks and they're making them into a little bit of a vignette. So they're turning things that are free outside into artwork. Now, if you're too nervous, you can go ask someone if you can borrow their sticks or their flowers, but you can also get them really affordably at Trader Joe's or something like that. But florals make everything look really luxe, especially when you arrange them correctly, have some different colors, some different heights. It just becomes a piece of art um, that no one else is going to have because you've arranged it in a way that works for you. But I love restoration hardware. You all know this and something that they're famous for is having these wonderful cabinets and bookcases with all the books that are all white, all taupe, all black, and they're in a perfect line and it just looks so luxe. Well, if we have books that actually have pages in them um, that we actually read, that isn't practical. I know you can wrap your books in linen, but linen is expensive. It costs a lot of money to do that product. You still might be spending $100, $200, and that's if you have a really small bookcase. So you want your bookcase to look seamless, but you don't want to spend any money at all. What we're going to do is we're going to take those books and we're going to turn them around. So we're going to have the spine facing the back of the cabinet. You're like, Kiva, I can't, I can't see the title of the book. Okay, that's true. If these are books you got to access every day, let's just like forget that I'm just skip this one. But if these are books that you don't access all the time, turn the spine to the back, and chances are the pages of the book are going to flow more seamlessly than the spines of the book because the spine could be blue, green, red, orange, but pages of books are white or an off-white or yellow. And what you can do is you can take those slipped around books and kind of intersperse them with pieces of decor that you already have, and you're going to get that really nice luxe look. You don't just have to do this facing the spine to the back when they're sitting up straight, but you can also lay them down flat and rotate them. You can do just about anything. This is a great way to get that seamless let's look for free. Now this one is pretty self-explanatory, but it also is the most important one. The best way to make your home look luxurious for free is to declutter your house. You know, if your house is full of McDonald's bags, I'm just not going to notice that really nice vignette you've created with those vases. So I'm not looking at all of those other things. So if there's a lot of clutter in your home, it just makes it really difficult to pay attention to the things that you've, you've curated, the things that really make your house look high end, that make your house reflect you. So if there is no clutter, I'm going to notice every single little thing that you did and it's just going to speak volumes because the a house is not just about how one corner is styled and how the other corner is styled. It's about how the home looks as a whole. So decluttering is really, really important. I know you don't want to hear it, but it is what you need to do to make your home look luxe. Now, along with decluttering, it's the same, but it's also different. I want you to reset your home every single day. You know, when you go to a hotel, housekeeping comes every single day and they make your bed and all that good stuff. Now, we're our own housekeepers. We're doing that for ourselves. So we are going to fluff our pillows every day. We're going to fold our blankets. We're going to reset our home at the end of the day within reason so that it's going to look at really nice and staged and like put together in the morning. For me, there's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and wanting to see a beautiful beautiful kitchen and it's just full of dishes and I'm like, ugh, I should have just done them last night. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So we want to do that with our beds. You know, there's something so nice when you walk into the room, you have your bed and all the pillows and it's really nice and it just looks pretty, right? Because we put all this time and money into going to home goods, getting all those throw pillows and all that good stuff, but then we just throw it on the floor and it then it just looks messy. So resetting every day is going to look super nice. Now I'm not saying you have to turn your towels into swans, okay guys? There is there there was reason to this. There were limits, but resetting your house is the best way to make your home look luxurious all the time because that's exactly what they do in hotels and luxurious homes. 
Now, this next one caused controversy in my most recent video, but I'm gonna say it again because I like to live on the edge. What you need to do is raise your curtains up. We don't want our curtains, you know, sitting right on the window. We don't want that because then it's all on the floor and that doesn't look good and makes the ceilings feel small. Again, Lux is correlated with large. It is the fact of the matter. That is a fact, right? When someone has a big house, you're like, oh wow, they paid a lot of money. But that's not always true, but that's what we think. So we want to raise our curtains up and make sure they're taking up some horizontal space as well because it's going to make our homes look larger and therefore it's going to look more luxurious. Now you don't have to get new curtains. If you love your rainbow curtains, I'm not going to stop you, but let's raise them up to, you know, kind of get more length out of them to make the space feel larger. Again, if it is a fire hazard, obviously don't do that. Or, you know, if there's like a problem, don't do it. Like obviously there are caveats to everything. So just keep that in mind. And last but not least, the 10th way to make your home look luxurious for absolutely no money at all is to layer your bed and your sofas and your chairs. So what does that mean? So we bought this really nice chair, it's looking good, but we need to add a little bit more oomph to it, right? We wanna put a throw blanket on it or a pillow on it or something like that. Obviously, if your home is all modern minimalist, this does not apply to you, so skip this one. But for most of us, we want some layering, we want more going on. So we're gonna take our sofa, we're gonna put maybe a throw blanket on it with like a faux fur or a, a boucle or a knitting or something like that, and we're gonna add a new texture. Alternatively, we can put a pillow on that has a new color but is the same texture. We just wanna make things a little bit more interesting and you're saying, Kiva, these things cost money. They do, but I also know that many of you are like me and you go to home goods all the time and you buy things that you don't need. So let's go in those bags that we hid in the garage from our significant other, take those covers out and use them. Let's move them around the house and make use of them. You can always take old textiles that you have in the house and put them over some old throw pillows and make your own pillowcases. So we just wanna layer our things. You need to add more texture and more dimension and chances are you already have these things at home. So let's Let's just use them. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I gave you 10 ways on how to make your home look more luxurious for absolutely free. Let me know down in the comments which one of these tips you are going to be implementing. I wanna know, let's make our homes look luxurious together for absolutely free. If you liked today's video, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a beautiful day.